Hi folks, in previous tutorial you have learned how it's possible to read re simulation result with Creo Simulate and directly I have got questions if it is possible to explain details regarding the using different materials. So my idea was that I will prepare for you the four most used materials and I'd like to speak about some details and how you can configure or how you can reuse and then what is the results again. So as you know that for example we are using mostly the steel structure material 836 and over there we have a couple of necessary simulation properties for Creo Simulate and you know that everything is used from the Hooke law and represents for the equation of the line of slope E that passed through the origin of coordinates. And what does it mean? That system reuse couple of necessary information and we are calculate everything between point zero to point two. Yeah, and over here also that the strain stress curve showing typical yield behavior. Okay, so what does it mean? The Creo simulate are possible to calculate everything what is on the straight line from the hook law. And we are using some numbers and these, we can call it numbers, we need to apply it for the material. So I have prepared for you four materials, steel A36, nylon, copper and aluminium. And I'd like to show you how you can download. It's easy. Over here is the downloaded link or under video. And also you are able to prepare and set your custom configuration option for the materials. So if you use the pro underscore material dear in your config profile, you are able to apply additional material here. And for example, this will be the path what you will use. Okay, so if you have a configuration options and you have four most used material and you are understand how the system calculate the stress and strain and everything is defined well, then we will jump in Creo and in Creo we need to apply this material. You know that if I set the configuration option and then I will select the material and change over here is the material library loaded and I have set material Creo simulate and over there are necessary information. So for example, if you will compare over here is the, for example, steel and I have set for you the yield stress, ultimate stress or compressive ultimate stress and also position ratio and Young's modulus and another parameter, for example, necessary density and also apply for the nylon, copper and aluminum. Everything is set to ton and millimeters because we are reusing the units millimeter newton seconds and everything will be calculated correctly and properly with Creo Simulate in megapascals. So let's jump in application and simulation. In the previous tutorial, you know that how it's possible and how it's possible to set the displacement. So displacement is right now set for the, the back surface and also is possible apply the force on selected surfaces and then you will specify the value. For more details, please check the previous tutorial. Today I'd like to focus on the used material. So you can see here that it's possible to use the material assignment and then from the drop down menu or if you select the more that you need to apply the material on the bottom. So what does it mean? Double click, select and the system applied for here. Yeah. So I will apply the aluminium. I will recreate it. And then you see that everything is set as needed. So aluminium is here and all necessary values are applied. So if I will select aluminium is selected or you can choose from drop down menu the another one. As the example, I will use the aluminium and we need to run the analysis. So everything is prepared, reuse it from the last tutorial and I will hit the run and the system will calculate necessary information. After a few seconds, you are able to see the results 
And again, from the previous tutorial, you will know what does it mean if you will select the continue stone or display type as fringe, and if you hit the confirm OK and show. And right now, you can see that system calculate necessary stress based on the material parameter displacement and force or moment. If you will choose the displacement, you are able to select, for example, you would like to see it in the Y orientation and everything is here. What does it mean if you will change the material? So I will quickly would like to change the material. So we are able to select edit definition for selected material from the model tree. And again, from the drop down menu, you are able to select, for example, to steal what I have prepared for you. If you would like to see details, you can select more and you again can see the used value. And if I jump here, used value I have found on the internet. So you can see here which value I have used for the material or materials. And if you would like to continue, select and confirm OK. And again, run analysis and confirm OK a few times because the system need to rewrite existing analysis and you can see the results in the separate window and for example we would like to see more colors so you are able to compare right now the values what does it mean if we will run the separate calculation i have told before for you you can see here that for example for the steel are necessary the stress for 84, 87 and if I use the cooper or nylon or aluminium always I have a different different results because I use the different materials. I hope so that you like this example how to apply different materials with Creo Simulate and you are able to download used materials with specific value and enjoy and try to use for your calculation. Stay tuned and like video. Thank you and bye bye. Vladimir.